baptism is one of two ordinances that Jesus gave the church just before he ascended to heaven. He said in Matthew 28, 19-20, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. In these directives, Jesus is telling the church to go to all nations, to teach his word, make disciples, and baptize them. Baptism has great importance because Jesus commanded it. Baptism was practiced before the founding of the church. The Jews of ancient times would baptize proselytes to signify the convert's cleansed nature. John the Baptist used baptism to signify repentance and to prepare the way of the Lord, requiring everyone, not just Gentiles, to be baptized, because everyone needs repentance. Christian baptism, however, has an even deeper significance. Christian baptism is to be done in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and through this ordinance a person is admitted into the fellowship of the church. When we are saved, we are baptized by the Holy Spirit into the body of Christ, which is the church. In 1 Corinthians 12.13 it says, We were all baptized by one spirit to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slaves or free. We were all given the one spirit to drink. Baptism by water is a reenactment of the baptism by the spirit. In baptism, a person makes a public profession of their faith in Christ for salvation and symbolically says, Christ has cleansed my soul and my life is set apart for him. Christian baptism illustrates the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It also illustrates our death to sin and that we are raised to new life in Christ. Baptism is an outward sign of the inward change in a believer's life. It is an act of obedience to Jesus' command. Though it is closely associated with salvation, baptism is not required to receive salvation. The Bible teaches we are to be baptized soon after salvation. An example of this is the Ethiopian eunuch in Acts chapter 8, 35-36. After coming to believe in Christ, the eunuch said, Look, here is water. What can stand in the way of my being baptized? And right away they stopped the chariot and Philip baptized the man. Wherever the gospel is preached and people come to faith in Christ, the Bible teaches they should be baptized. Thank you.